Hey, it's Alan here from Hat Gadgets. We're going to be taking a look at their robot called Pero. What it's used for is uh, therapy uh, for older people and things like that. It's uh, very similar to a dog or a cat, except it's completely electronic, filled with sensors. Let's go take a look and uh, see what it's all about. Hi everybody, my name is Christine Su. I'm with Paro Robot in the US out of Chicago. Um, today I'm going to be introduce Paro to you. So Paro is a therapeutic robot. We're using nursing homes, hospitals, Alzheimer's associations, and school for autistic children. Um, it is intelligent robot. Um, there are five different kind of sensors all over the body. Uh, with the sensors, Paro can perceive people and its environment. Uh, for instance, with touch sensor, Paro can respond to touch. And the sensors on top of the head, over the chin, whiskers, on flippers, and on the back of the body. And also the audio sensor. With the audio sensor, Paro will follow the direction of sounds and also um, respond to his name and common greetings like good morning, how are you? And also there's a video sensor. With video sensor, um, Paro will respond to strong light. For instance, if you take the camera and flash in front of Paro, Paro will blink just like um, humans. Um, and it's got the artificial intelligent building, so uh, you can actually train him like you're training a puppy. For instance, if you give him a name and call him over and over again, over time it will become his name. He will think that that's the name that he's given. And Paro, we use um, a lot of people that they cannot take care of a light pad or a lot of places they don't allow a light pad inside of the house. So Paro is uh, used as a pet or companion um, for those individuals. And a lot of uh, institutions like hospitals or nursing home, they're concerned about uh, the scratch infection of allergy from live animal. They use Paro as a substitute of animal therapy. And also, um, a lot of nurses use par uh, nurses of caregiver. They use Paro, kind of like icebreaker, or um, use it as a facilitator to stimulate the conversation and communication. Um, and Paro uh, reduces the stress and anxiety uh, anxiety p uh, anxiety level for those elderly and for those um, Alzheimer patients. And it's been around since 2003. Uh, it's very popular in Japan and Europe, and this is the first year that we brought it into U.S. market.